this turtle cost me about a quarter, but it is so like, it's like rubbery. It is so funny. It said Hong Kong on it. I put realistic in the title. You guys, I sold this turtle. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I talk about items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about my bread and butter bolos, the items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, I source low. I source really, really uh, cheap. Uh, I'm going to tell you at the end of the video what I paid in total for these 27 items. I think you're going to be a little shocked. And I'm going to tell you in total what I earned profits on all of these items. So it's just incredible. I, I know a lot of people skip the bread and butter, but you guys, these items add up. And I bet you're walking past them. Do not walk past these items. Let's get started. All right, so the first item I have for you guys is this a Polly Pocket uh, Ranch House. This came out of a thrift store mystery box, um, so probably had about a dollar in it, and I sold this for $23.56 plus shipping, and it opens up like that. So any vintage Polly Pocket is definitely a good pickup. This next item, oh my goodness, so um, I got... A bunch of these mini brands, uh, Zuru, they're like this big, they're minis, and they come in like a surprise thing. And I was looking a few of them up individually, and these Q-tips are definitely a bolo. Now, I will tell you, mine was not in the best condition. It had like, see the little cracking right there? And I, I tried to include really good photos uh, because I, I got this out of the Goodwill bins. Uh, if you guys want to see me digging through the Goodwill bins, I do have videos on that. And I do pop up screen shares as I dig of how I list everything. So I keep it educational, but super fun videos. But I found this there. So this probably cost me like a nickel, maybe a couple pennies. Um, but I looked up the Q-tips. Some of them go for $20 to $25. Because mine was a little bit damaged and I put it does show some wear. I started the auction at $14.99 plus shipping, and that is what it sold for. So let me know in the comments if you knew about this Bolo. Um, I also have some mayonnaise listed that does pretty well. Um, I had an offer that I turned down on that. Maybe I should have taken it. And then I do have some lotted up individually. So you can check those uh, that video out where I was digging in the bins for those items. I was grabbing them all. I didn't know that they had such value though when I was when I was pulling them out of there. All right, this right here, I kind of wish I would have priced this one higher, but I washed it and um, it still had, let me see here. It Well, first off, it had a little bit of, um, I forget what this is called. See how it's kind of... Uh, Oh, what is that called? I can't think of what that's called. And it had this stain on it. I could not get it out. So um, it was clean, freshly laundered, but still had some issues. So I'm like, you know what? I know this is a bolo, but it's got some condition issues. I'm going to start it at $19.99 and see what happens. Um, the person did message me um, and they said that their child lost theirs or something to that nature and they needed it and they were in Australia. And I'm like, I sell global shipping program. You can you can purchase the item because a lot of people don't sell internationally. So they were just confirming that they could buy the item. So they ended up getting it for $19.99. They were all in um, just to Kentucky for $25.79. They also had to pay those additional global shipping fees. So um, I was really happy that this found a good home. But it is the Gunned Baby My First Teddy Blue Huggy Buggy Security Blanket Lovey Plush. Definitely be on the lookout for this one. It does really well. If it would have been in great condition, I probably could have got much more for it. I can't remember what the comps were at, but I would say anywhere between $30 and $50. I got this at the Goodwill Bins, so probably a buck, probably a buck in that. I love this one. This came from a garage sale. I got a big bag of turtles and 
Most of them I haven't done anything with. I don't know. I might take them over to whatnot. They're pretty cool. Um, not like this one. They're just all uniquely different. If you're not following me on whatnot, there's a link down below. If you join with that link, you can get a $10 credit to shop. So um, it is my referral link. This turtle cost me about a quarter, but it is so like, it's like rubbery. It is so funny. It said Hong Kong on it. I put realistic in the title. You guys, I sold this turtle for $21 plus shipping and I paid about a quarter for it. So how many of you would have walked past the turtle? This one came from a garage sale. I had about 50 cents in this. It is a Lou Rankin bunny rabbit with the teeny weeny little friend, which is like its little baby that matches. Um, new with tags. I did put used because I'm not the, I did not buy it new from the store. Um, but I put with, with tags, original tags. Took a best offer of $10 on this and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this American Girl Snowy Dreams pajama outfit for a bitty baby doll. Got this at a garage sale for $1, sold it for a best offer of $16 plus shipping. This is Iron Man Hallmark ornament. I got this out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box and I took a best offer of $8 plus shipping and my cost of goods was probably around a dollar for that. Boyd's Bears. I will pick up any Boyd's Bear plush if it is a dollar or less. Um, I got this one in a huge garage sale. Uh, I bought all of their Boyd's Bears. It came to like a buck each. I will say that I've had this one listed a very long time. Uh, some of them sell quickly. Some of them sit for a long time. They can be a long tail item, but if I can get them for a buck or less, I've got a whole bag over in my money pile that I need to list. Um, if you can find the Boyd's minis, oh my goodness, those are big money. Some go for hundreds of dollars. Um, so be on the lookout for the little mini ones and look them up if you see them. If, if they're a dollar or less, just grab them and go. Uh, so yeah, this one sold for $15.49 plus shipping. The next item are these Halloween foam stickers, Scooby-Doo uh, and Friends uh, stickers. They're like the ones that you peel the paper off the back and they're bigger. I did not source these. They came in, um, I did source it, but not like... I didn't see it sitting there and was like, oh, I'm going to buy that. It was in a big Halloween lot that I got at a garage sale a few years ago. So this one did take a little while to sell. A cost of goods, like probably a quarter. Sold these for $7 best offer plus shipping. The next item is this Zip Zaps SpongeBob, SpongeBob SquarePants starter kit. I think I paid $3 for this at a garage sale. It might have been two. And I sold this for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. Anything new old stock or st sealed in the packaging, I usually pick up if it's cheap. This one surprised me. I figured this was going to be long tail. These are the Disney Princess Checkers replacement pieces. It's Cinderella and Aurora. It's just a bunch of them. And I put cake topper in the title, but I also put cupcake because I was like, okay, that's kind of a lot for a cake. But what if somebody was doing cupcakes and they wanted everybody to have like a little cake topper to take home? How cool is that? Um, this ended up selling really quickly. I don't know if they needed them as replacements for their checkers game or if they liked my idea. But uh, this ended up selling for $12.40 plus shipping. And I got that out of the Goodwill bins. This one sold to a viewer. Shout out to 2014-WoodJ. Um, on eBay. That is her um, username. And she ordered this from me. I got it at a garage sale for 50 cents and she sent me an offer for $10 and I happily took it. And um, let me go into, I asked her if she minded if I shared her store. So this is her store and she doesn't have a whole lot listed right now, but definitely um, give her a follow and um, come back and check out what she lists. Um, if you want to follow a store, you just hit the little heart and that will save the store. All right, let's go on to, oh, I, you know what? Looky here. I already had it pulled up to show you. All right, this one. Oh my goodness. An international buyer bought this global shipping program. And I can't remember what the total they paid in all, but it will pop up and show you that. And I was like, oh my goodness. I want to say it was like in the $70 range. Maybe it was, yeah, I think it was $70. Um, so what happens is when they buy it from the global shipping program, I will ship it to Kentucky and then Kentucky takes the package and then they ship it to the country. Um, 
so they have to pay the uh, shipping fees from me to Kentucky, and then they pay the shipping fees from the Global Shipping Center to them, and then they also pay their custom fees up front. So I believe how it works is when you use Global Shipping, they just get the item without having to pay the fees. Um, I know that Noel Farm Girl Scavenger and Troy Mountain Man Treasure, they do it differently. They don't use Global Shipping Program, and that's fine. But I do feel like Global Shipping Program offers a lot of protection. But if you're a pro like them, um, they save um, or they sell more because of the costs are lower. There's not that extra cost built in. So check out their channels if you want to learn more about that. Okay, this sold for $18.60 plus shipping. And it's a La La Lopsy Marina Anchors doll. I got it at the Goodwill Bins. And I think I got three that day. So the other two are still listed. But this one sold really quickly. I'm sure it kindly, <laughs> kindly, it probably depends on uh, which doll it is, the outfit, the hair, the, you know, the specifics of the item. This one was retired from 2010. These right here ornaments, they came out of a thrift store mystery box, a Christmas box. I took a best offer of $10 plus shipping. They are Krebs glass bird ornaments, ornaments, and they're from Target from 2000 and retired. These are ET stickers and one is missing, as you can see, and they still sold. Um, I got this in a huge vintage sticker lot from a garage sale. Um, I'm going to say it's been over a year ago, but they're still selling slow and steady long tail item. They're from the 1980s. I sold these for $15.50 plus shipping. And I do have a video on that. Um, I think it's on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. Source this at a thrift store, or I'm sorry, at a garage sale. And I do have footage of it in a video. So this may look familiar to you. I got this for around $1.50. I bought a bag of dolls for one price. So average out $1.50. Sold this for $18.60 plus shipping. The next item here is a dress. It's a Barbie dress and I got it to stand up and I thought my picture was pretty cool. Um, I got this at a thrift store for $1. I think it was a big bundle because I wouldn't just pay for a dollar for a dress. So I probably averaged it out. Sold this dress for $15.50 plus shipping. The next item is this How to Train Your Dragon plush. I got this at the Goodwill Benz. It sold so fast. Um, I could have sold it for more, but I wasn't sure of the brand because right here, the tush tag was cut. So I just put the keywords in the title and I put cut tag, put the info right here and sold super quick, $13.64 plus shipping with this doll. I mean, it's kind of on the tail. It's in a weird spot. So probably somebody's going to cut it off anyway, right? Just like when you get your pillow and they have those big old tags on them. I don't know why they do that. I mean, I do know why they do that. But yeah, you cut them off, right? Or you stuff a pillowcase over it. All right. So we've got this receiving blanket. It's Cabbage Patch Kids. I got this at an estate sale for $1. Sold this for $26 plus shipping. This here is a Lovabella interactive doll replacement spoon. This is definitely something that I source for all the time. The bottles, the spoons, the pacifiers, all these replacements that go with these dolls, these sell. This one is a hard to find item. I sold this so fast for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. This came out of a box, a mystery box that a viewer sent me. Shout out to Lisa. Um, I not sure if that video has been released yet. I'm still got to, as of right now, I still have to do all the edits. Um, I got everything listed, but this sold so quickly that it's in my what sold video. I'm going to guess that by the time this post, it hopefully will be up, but uh, maybe not. I'm so behind. Um, I've got so much footage, but uh, thank you, Lisa. I loved my box. Um, you guys can guess it was stuffed full of toys. So um, coming soon, if not already out. The next item are the Jetsons. Um, got these at a thrift store. Paid $2 for them. And I sold them for a best offer of $30 plus shipping. This is a cute little vintage Ralph Lauren. It's got the little bear. I saw this and I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be a big money bolo. No, it wasn't. It um, It's a 4T. It, it wasn't. <laughs> I ended up selling this for $21 plus shipping. 
I paid a buck or two for it. I mean, I definitely did good, but it took a long time to sell. And I, some vintage Ralph Lauren can be big bucks. This Disney Winnie the Pooh and Tigger bath toys. I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold these for $10 and 40 cents plus shipping. The next item is this Octonauts slime eel squirter figure toy. This is just a little replacement toy for an Octonauts set. Um, I got this at a garage sale for around 50 cents and I sold this for a best offer of $7 plus shipping just for a little squirter toy. Like literally, it's just teeny tiny crazy, right? These were free at a garage sale. It was a teacher's garage sale and I walked up and all of these uh, die cuts had been, um, what, what do you call that when they put the plastic over them? Oh, I can't think of the word. It's too late. I can't think of it. But they have the plastic coating that protect them. So teachers hang these on their walls, but these are all vintage. I got like Easter, Halloween, um, Thanksgiving. I got a ton of them and they were all in the free pile. So I listed this all together. Um, and I sold this for $32.49 plus shipping. And I think I have two sets left. The rest have all sold. This is a St. Nicholas Square white picket fencing. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box. And I sold this for uh, $7.50 plus shipping. This is a vintage Bergren, Bergren Shelton trainer tile. <laughs> it's a seahorse and it's a tile. And this is what it looks like on the back. It's just a vintage tile. I said the back is dirty or stained as seen. I did not attempt to clean it. I don't typically clean stuff, you guys. I might wipe it down a little, but I'm not going to sit and scrub unless it's something special. And plus, I didn't want to mess it up. This, uh, I got at a garage sale for a quarter and it sold for $15.50 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, so that was 27 items. In total, my cost of goods was around $25, give or take, um, because a lot of these were Goodwill bins and mystery box items. So around 25 bucks for 27 items. And I sold these for $435.16. That does not include the shipping or the tax. That is just the base price. So if you added the shipping and the tax on there, it was probably in the $600 range, the way shipping is lately. So what do you guys think? Which one was your... Favorite item, most unexpected. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Leave me your favorite emoji in the comments. And there's going to be videos popping up here and here. A subscribe and another video down here. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you don't have your bell on, turn that bell on. That will alert you when I post new videos. Thank you for being here. And thanks for watching.